Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, my favorite time of the week. What's new in Transformers? Heck yeah. Love talking about new Transformers. Don't have them in hand. Just like to chit chat. So sit back and relax and let's talk about some freaking Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add on kids, add on kids, add on kids for days. And we got new stuff from Ratchet's Operating Studios. We got an upgrade for Studio Series Ultra Magnus. He gets some leg extensions. All right. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. She, I would call her. You know, all that good stuff. You remember that? All right. Yeah, get some leg extensions for the Studio Series Ultra Magnus, make them a little taller. That is awesome. I wish they'd give me some leg extensions because I'm really short. But there you go. This is Ratchet's Operating Studio. This is ROS-40 and an upgrade kit for Ultra Magnus. All right, good stuff. And we got some new stuff from DNA Design. It says, D uh, Dear DNA Vines, we got uh, exciting news. As April 5th, the total likes and shares for our April 1st post have surpassed 100. So it's time to fulfill our promises. So they made some promises. That's awesome. And uh, they're going to fulfill them. So DK-53 will now include Transformer Studio Series Core Class RC Dual Guns. All right. So, but wait, there's more. If a total Likes and shares of the post reach over 200. We'll reveal an extra upgrade accessory kit on April 9th. So that is pretty cool, which will be today. So uh, very awesome. So yeah, so they're gonna throw in two extra guns with the DK53 accessory pack from DNA Designs. Awesome. And to go off, and to go off on that DNA, DNA Designs, they did exceed 200. So they will also be throwing in the dual blades for the DK53 set for Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. So you get uh, we decided to provide a dual style uh, dual blades with metallic paint. So both blades and guns will be uh, fully retracted. So that's cool. So you get the extra guns for RC and then you get the uh, blades for uh, Bumblebee. And uh, that's pretty cool. So that's from DNA Designs. Awesome. And we got something new from New Supply FX. If you go to their Facebook group, you can find this. And it looks like it was a real challenge making these new marble panel displays for the Detolf. But glad we uh, did this. It truly completes a full epic look on your Lincoln Memorial set uh, from that one episode with Megatron. So there you go. That's pretty cool. So if you go to New Supply FX on Facebook, you can go order some of their stuff. And it looks pretty good. I like it. All right, moving on to third party Legends news. And we got some in hand picks of New Age toys. This is their tailgate and their uh, wind charger. And man, they look good. I cannot wait to get these. Almost finished off, uh, well, getting closer to uh, finish off the mini bots for New Age. So really looking forward to these. They look really good. So I'm excited for those. Can't wait for the, really excited for the Wassinator repaint. That looks really cool too as well. So really excited for these. So this is New Age toys. This is a uh, uh, tailgate and we got a uh, wind charger. So awesome. Can't wait to get my collection. All right, man, I'm excited for this. So Robot Toys is giving us the RT-01 Caesar Burning version. This is their Burning Convoy. Uh, this is their take on, you know, on that for Primal. Uh, just reviewed the Optimus Primal, the Caesar from them, uh, just a couple of days ago. If you don't mind, go check it out after you watch this. But man, I'm so excited for this. Looks so good. It's a great Transformer already. And this deco just, man, I cannot wait. I just ordered it from uh, Show Z, so hopefully it'll come in soon and I can get it. Uh, but yeah, I love the translucent red, the golden, uh, you know, got the gold painted weapons and everything. Looks really good. So I'm really excited. Hopefully this time I'll get the mace with it. Uh, but yeah, this looks good. I cannot wait for it. So this is Robot Toys RT-01 Caesar Burning Version or their Burning Convoy for Primal. And man. Definitely cannot wait for this to get in my collection. Golly, hurry up. And another one I'm excited for, another clear version of Medigate. This is their Optimus Prime from the Bowie movie. And um, I've got a review of him coming up pretty soon. So uh, the original one, I was finally, I, you know, broke, you know, finally got him. Uh, I know I waited a long time. I think he's been out for over a year. But we got a clear version of this guy coming. Man, uh, that transformation, I don't know. I'm going to be kind of, you know iffy on that one so we'll see but yeah this is metagate and this is their legend scale optimus prime and uh this is from the bowie movie yeah can't wait to get it and we get to look at the packaging for dr woo 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 this is the uh monitor and sound master this is a shatter glass version of uh sound wave and uh blaster and we also get to see the headmaster uh, headmaster uh version as well kind of the battle damage one you know because you know they fought and headmasters and they you know died uh but yeah looks pretty cool got these both on pre-order at uh show z so excited for this so there you go package and box art for the uh, sound wave and blaster and shatter glass and headmaster versions all right good stuff and i came across this i don't know if this is new or if this is old this is gyh toys 8808 shadow ninja this is i guess is a knockoff or upscaling of the iron factory six shot i think that's what it is i don't know for sure if anybody knows some information about this guy i don't know a whole lot about it but like i said it's probably a knockoff and it could be an upscaling of the iron factory one 
uh, but this is GH, I'm sorry, GYH Toys 8808 Shadow Ninja, and this is their take on a uh, six shot. All right, and we got some new picks from Magic Square. This is a B56 or T Rex or Grimlock and everything, so man. This looks pretty good. I like it. Um, can't wait to get this. Uh, now there is a, re a review out there for them, uh, for him already. Um, haven't watched it yet. I will play. I plan on watching it pretty soon. Uh, but they said I've read some comments that the transformation once again is going to be look like a little pain in the butt, you know, like Man Square does. But man, this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to do the comparisons with New Age and everything. But yeah, so far so good. I like it. And uh, you get a lot of accessories for him. And that's pretty cool. So there you go. There's some new picks from Magic Square B56. This is your Grimlock. And he should be coming out pretty soon. Can't wait. All right. Let's move on to MP and third party news. And I think I may have shown these already, but eh, it doesn't matter. I'm excited for this. So Star Toys ST02 Masterpiece Scale Tracks. Great prototype images. Uh, like I said, I may have shown these already, but it's a new third party company, but more than likely it's not a new one. They've probably been around just like everybody else. Uh, bring us a new tracks mode for the Masterpiece Scale. We have a cartoon accurate robot mode which looks solid with almost no gaps and accurate alt mode which also can transform into a flying mode this is a new prototype update feature some changes like shorter wings so yeah i think i may have shown these already but ah, it doesn't matter it looks good i'm excited for this uh you probably need to look at it again so yeah everybody go out there and pre-order this guy star toys st02 masterpiece scale tracks all right get my collection all right looks like it's happening we may be getting our superior i know we're gonna get on but this is fans toys uh, they showed their, uh, you know, a, a review of the Viper, which is their Firefly. And this is, I think, a still shot from them with holding the gun and everything. And this is for their Ethereum, which is a call, you know, Superior and everything. So, yeah, it looks like we're finally, finally getting the aerial bots. Uh, so we'll get this one. And then we got the last one coming with all the combiner parts. Uh, so hopefully we might get the uh, Stunticons and Minasaur by 2025, hopefully. Uh, I hope to God they don't start putting out their uh, Constructicons before they finish that guy off. But... You know, you never know. So yeah, really excited for this. Can't wait to get Superion. So there you go. Aerobots is his fans toys. Viper Armo with the giant, you know, giant rifle. And uh, yeah, can't wait. Yay. All right, let's move on to official Transform news. It looks like Legacy United Wave 2 Deluxes and Generation Select Autobot Stand United 5-Pack found at U.S. Retail. So this is, they got Chromia, and it looks like the, you know, the 5-Pack with uh, Wheeljack, Trailbreaker, and Earth, Mo Earth Mode Hound were found in GameStop Albany in New York. So happy hunting. And also uh, found was Legacy United Wave 2 Leader Class Triple Changer Sandstorm. This was found in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, really close to me. So there you go, happy hunting. And we got some new in-hand images of Legacy United Deluxe R.I.D. Sideburn. Uh, this was reviewed by uh, Prime vs. Prime. Figures a modern inc incarnation of the R.I.D. 2001 Sideburn using previously released Legacy Cyberverse Universe Shadow Striker mold with a new head and deco. Head sculpt looks like uh, faithful to the original design. Uh, transformation is easy and to complete. The original R.I.D. Sideburn is famous for its complex transformation uh, with a solid alt mode. And it looks, sure looks different from the original R.I.D. stylish car, but shows not much paint apps. So yeah, the alt mode doesn't look that good. Bot mode looks pretty good. I like, um, you know, I'll probably pick this one up. I didn't pick up Shadow Striker for some reason, but eh, it'll be all right. So uh, they had comparison shots next to, uh, you know, the Shadow Striker, Bumblebee Toe Line, and a bunch of others. So there you go. New, hand, new in hand images of Legacy United Deluxe R.I.D. Sideburn. So it looks like we're getting a couple Optimus Prime reissues. The Earthrise Optimus Prime and Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. So it looks like they've been listed on, you know, various retailers. I think some are sold out as well. Uh, joins uh, the Bumblebee movie being released, uh, reissued at GameStop. Uh, looks like they are available at Bid Bad Toy Store, you know, uh, Chosen Prime, Ages 3 and Up, all those other things. So, yeah, if you missed out on these two, yeah, here's your chance to get Earthrise Optimus Prime and Gamer Edition Optimus Prime as reissues. All right. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about, Takara Tomi has listed another round of pre-orders for the re, uh, releases of Masterpiece, Generation Legacy, and Studio Series figures. So, that's awesome. So, we get better picks of the Masterpiece MPG-09 Super Genra. That's an anime, deco, robot, and trailer, transformable god monster. Uh, Godmaster Genra figurine, two Super Genra heads, you get red and blue eyes, two blast effects, and uh, you get a bunch of other stuff, and the robot and trailer can combine it to Super Genra, and uh, it's going to be $257.23 and planned to be released on 20, uh, December 28th of this year. Then you get the Masterpiece MP60 Genra, which is a Toy Deco robot and Godmaster, no trailer included. It's going to be $119 and planned to also be released on December 28th. Uh, we get Legacy Cheetor, which is the um, core class uh, Beast Machines. We get Chromia, Cybertron uh, Starscream, and then we get the Blaster and Eject 
uh, released as mass retail in a Japanese market as well, which is basically a recolor of the uh, tape of a uh, rewind, or I'm sorry, eject. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, there's some differences in Blaster too as well, the chest and everything, so that's cool. I think he was found in Target as well in the US, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. We get better picks of, and uh, you know, better picks of the Masterpiece Genra and Super Genra, and I'm really excited for that. Oh, they're also on Amazon Japan right now as well if you wanna go pre-order them. Uh, good luck with that. So yeah, there you go. Awesome, so awesome. Good stuff. All right, so this is really it. Uh, I found this, um, you know, before I was going to close out and start editing my stuff. So this is from tfu.info, and this was what we were going to get for Optimus Prime as the Amazon exclusive. A lot, you know, there's a lot of rumors out there we're supposed to get one, uh, but this was going to be the Transformers Optimus Prime with trailer, which unreleased, was supposed to be in 2021. And uh, they're using the Earthrise uh, mold. Uh, this is a leader scale Optimus Prime, exclusive Amazon Deco, Intertron Cubes brown boxes, which was pretty cool, exclusive Prime Day launch, closed uh, box with AMZ branding, and it was supposed to be released on July 1st of 2021 and was going to be $49.99. So what do y'all think? Uh, hopefully we may get this down the line. I think it'd be pretty cool to get an Earthrise uh, deco of this in Amazon. So pretty cool. So there you go. That's what we're supposed to get for Amazon Prime. All right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And man, once again, jam-packed, man, lots of ledges, man. That burning convoy from Robot Toys, I'm really excited for that. The Magic Square uh, Grimlock, excited for that. That clear Medigate Prime, man, I just love some clear Transformers. Man, really excited for everything, man. That Star Toys uh, tracks looks good. So yeah, man, it's a great time to be a collector, man. Can't wait. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments so you're excited for any of this stuff. And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. As always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and good night, folks.